Daf Yomi, Tracti Bhava Bantra, page uh, 10b, part 2. With the words, Ude'avid hachi la tzedakah gemurahi. The Gemara asks, if, and if one acts this way, is it not full-fledged charity? But isn't it taught in a bright that one who says, I am contributing this sell out to charity so that my sons will live? Or if he says, I am performing the mitzvah so that I will merit a share in the world to come, this person is a full-fledged righteous person as far as that mitzvah is concerned, even though he has his own welfare in mind. The Gemara answers, this is not difficult. Here, the statement that he is considered absolutely righteous is with regard to a Jew, where, while there, the statement that such benefaction is not credited as regard, with regard to a Gentile, I want to make a disclaimer. It's just me reading the Talmud. I'm not necessarily... Um, agreeing with it, there was a lot of uh, hostility between Jews and Gentiles back then, and so they would do a lot of uh, put-downs of Gentiles in the Talmud. And um, that being said, uh, just to, to know that, um, yeah, I'm just reading it. Okay. Uh, Rabbi Yoshua answered, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, Zakkai's challenge to interpret the verse, and he said, Righteousness exalts a nation. These are the people of Israel, as it is written, and who is like your people Israel, one nation on the earth? But the kindness of the people is sin. Huh? The kindness of the people is sin? Okay. Means that all the acts of charity and kindness that the nations of the world perform is counted as sin for them, since they perform them only to perpetuate their dominion, as it is stated by Daniel to Nebuchadnezzar, therefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable to you and break off your sins by charity and your iniquities by showing mercy to the poor, that there may be an extension of your serenity. Daniel 4.24 Since this is the argument that persuaded Nebuchadnezzar, it would appear that his actual motive was his own benefit. Rabban Gamliel answered and said, Righteousness exalts a nation. These are the people of Israel, as it is written, and who is like your people Israel, one nation on the earth. But the kindness of the people is sin means that all the acts of charity and kindness that the nations of the world perform is counted as a sin for them, since they perform them only in order to act haughtily through them. And whoever acts haughtily falls into Gehenna. As it is stated, the proud are haughty, and haughty one. Scorner is his name. Acts arrogant, acts in arrogant wrath. Proverbs 21, 24. And wrath means nothing other than Gehenna. As it is stated, that day is a day of wrath. Zephaniah one fifteen. Rabban Gamliel... Rabban Gamliel said, We still need to hear what the Modai has to say. As Rabbi Eliezer HaModai says, Righteousness exalts a nation. These are the people of Israel, as it is written, and who is like your people of Israel, one nation on the earth. But the kindness of the people is sin, means that all the acts of charity and kindness of the nations the world perform is counted as a sin for them, since they perform them only to taunt us with them. As it is stated that the Babylonian officer Nebuzaradan said, The Lord has brought it and done according as he has said, because you have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed his voice, therefore this matter is come upon you. Jeremiah 40, verse 3. Rabbi Nechunia and Akana answered and said, Righteousness exalts the nation in kindness. is referring to Israel. And in addition of the people is sin, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai said to his students, the statement of Rabbi Nechunia and Akana appears to be more precise than, than both my 
statement and your statements because he assigns both righteousness and kindness to Israel and sin to the peoples of the world. The Gemara asks, by inference it appears that he, Rabban Yochanan ben Zakkai, also offered an interpretation of this of this verse. What is it? As it is taught in Brayta, Rabban Yochanan ben Zakkai said to them that the verse should be understood as follows. Just as a sin offering atones for Israel, so charity atones for the nations of the world. It is related that I fear a Hermes, Ifira Hormiz, the mother of King Shapur, King of Persia, sent 400 dinars to Rabbi Ami, but he did not accept them. She then sent them to Rava, and he accepted them for the sake of peace with the kingdom. Rabbi Ami heard what Rava had done and was angry. He said, Does Rava not accept the lesson of the verse when the bows are withered, they shall be broken off? The women shall come and set them on fire. Isaiah twenty seven eleven, meaning that when righteousness has ceased from a particular nation, it is it is time for its citizens to be punished, and therefore we should not help them perform any meritorious deeds which would delay their punishment. Rabbi, the, uh, the Gemara asks, and why did Rava accept the money? The Gemara answers, he did so for the sake of peace with the kingdom. The Gemara asks, but did Rabbi Ami not also see the importance of accepting the money for the sake of the peace of the kingdom? The Gemara answers, Rabbi Ami maintains that Rava should have distributed the money to the Gentile poor rather than to the Jewish poor as it is a disgrace to the Jews to require the kindness of the nations of the world in order to support their poor. The Gomorrah comments, in fact, Rava also gave the money to the Gentile poor and not to the, Jew- to the Jewish poor. And Rabbi Ami got angry because, to be continued, 